There. Fixed it. Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Monte. Anyway, today, we're going to talk about my new tool, I mean tool, uh, that I got for my lab bench. That's this resistance decade counter box thingy. Oh yeah, 35 bucks on eBay, but it didn't come with any leads, so I have some leads I bought elsewhere on eBay. Let's set this up. I got a power supply over here. Uh, make sure it's not shorted. We'll set it to like five volts. Remember diodes uh, will only allow current to pass in one direction. The positive is going to go in this way. Don't get confused. Uh, the black wire here, which is normally negative, is the positive coming out of this decade box. Grab a little multimeter. Uh, for milliamps, it goes in there. Set it for milliamps. Let's put this over here. We're going to put it in series as well. Coming out of the LED, one side of the multimeter, and then the other side to ground. Smoke test. For 20 milliamps, that would be about 175 ohms. But look, even at, um, what is this, 12 kiloohms, we can still see this LED just barely. At least I can see it. I assume you can see it there on camera. Let's crank this thing down to, um, to like 175, 200. Two. There's 200 ohms on the bottom. We'll turn these to zero. There we go. That's our value set. And we see this LED is pretty bright. Um, and that's still only 3.9 milliamps. What happened over here? This says, I don't know if you can see it, this is 4.5 volts. I don't know. Oh, because I've got the, the current limit set. All right. Uh, that's still, all right, that's about five volts. And this then is only four milliamps. Well, under 90, that's four milliamps. Five milliamps at 90? What's going on here? Something's not, doesn't, you know. I set this to zero and that's six milliamps. That's, look, that's, something is absolutely either broken or these are 12 volt LEDs designed to hit um, uh, their current at 12 volts. So let's see what happens. Let me run the voltage up. All right, we got five volts, six milliamps at zero ohms. So there's a resistor in here somewhere, probably built into these LEDs. Let's crank this six volts, 10 milliamps, seven, eight, volts 10 volts it's 15 and 12 volts it is 20 milliamps these you know and that's the trouble with resistor or with some of these leds is that you never sometimes like in switches and stuff they sell them as 12 volt leds and you're never really sure if they have a resistor built in or not actually i think i can I can see the resistor built into this. We look at the end. Um, if you can see here, there's a little bump right on this side that looks like a resistor that's been heat shrunk. Well, that's no fun. We don't get to play with our box. Let's try it again with a different LED. All right, pull out my bag of LEDs that says green, so they're probably blue. Remember, current flows in one direction through these LEDs. You have two indications which way it goes. One of these leads is a little longer, and that's the positive lead. Uh, and one side of this is flat. So the flat is the negative side. Um, so flat is the negative. That is the positive. What the? Oh, this is the positive. I'm just using different wire colors. All right, traditionally red for positive, but in this case, red's the ground. 
and the black is the positive. All right. With this, we probably won't see. All right, you can't really tell any difference in seven, six, five, four. All right, I thought it went out there for a second. All right, I think that's a little more stable. So that's 175 ohms. Uh, we're still 10 milliamps, five volts. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that was going to be 20 milliamps. Um, yeah, this probably has more forward voltage drop than I uh, calculated. Let's double check what this forward voltage drop is. I thought it was going to be about 1.5 volts. Um, this little tester will run a couple of... And it says the voltage drop is 2.7 volts. So that is a lot more than I expected, and that's why the numbers were off. So um, let's say we add another kiloohm to it. Yeah, that means it's going to sleep. I've had it on too long. Um, that's still pretty bright at only 2 milliamps. So uh, particularly if you were in the dark somewhere and you wanted a, a battery project to last a long time or you just didn't want to be blinded, um, uh, 2 milliamps is plenty bright. Now at three, uh, 3k ohms it disappears. What? One, yeah, two, three. Oh, this time it's there. What's going on? Is there something a little loose here? Not sure what happened. There's something a little funny going on. Huh. All right, ignore those shenanigans. We'll, we'll look at it a little more in a minute. So, 9K, that's still pretty visible. Um, how about uh, 11K? Yeah, 0.2 milliamps. These modern LEDs are pretty good. And what do we get? 111K. I mean, that's visible, but really just barely. So I don't think I'd, I'd run along that. But 10K, 0.2 milliamps. You can see that if you're looking at it easily enough, particularly if you're looking at it straight on. I can even see it over here from the side. All right, let's see how bright we can get it. There's 60, uh, 5, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 amp, 10 ohms, 9. We're at 90 milliamps. I'm a little surprised that thing is, has lasted that long. Uh, 8, 7. That's 100 milliamps. 6, 5. That's still only 100. Oh, I'm hitting the current limit on the on the power supply. Let's crank that up a little bit. All right, let's go down again. Eight, that's 100 milliamps. Six, 113. Ooh. That five is flaky. We're gonna have to see what, we're gonna have to see about fixing that. Let's, let's try some of these higher values. Let's see if we get a mega ohm. Yep, one meg. Uh, what about 100K? Yep. And 10K, yep, on the money, and 1K. So these other values look pretty good. 100 ohms, that's not bad. 10 ohms, uh, with the two or three in the resist in the wires, that's just right. Um, there's definitely something going on here at about five ohms. Yeah, let's take this thing apart and see if we can fix it. Grab a cell. What in the world do we have here? Well, those are not large through old components. Those are little surface mount resistors and they're mounted sort of tombstoned up on one end and then soldered against these wires. 
uh, that go across the top. So it looks like um, I'm going to have like 10 connectors down here, 10 on each one, and it's going to select the different resistors as it goes across. There should be a zero on there. Anyway, point two. So let's see if we can figure out for sure which one of these little resistors is um, is the 5 ohm one. So we'll put that on the ground and is this the 1 or the 9? That is the 0. That's the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5. Yeah, that 5 is open. Alright, so let's try a little repair. And if I take a look, I don't know if you can see this or not, but as I look at these little resistors, that one looks like it doesn't have a lot of solder on the end of it. So I'm going to try touching up the solder, which is probably a bad idea. Just because all these little resistors are tombstoned up on that wire, and when I put enough heat over here to add solder to that, all of these other ones might just come loose. All right, we turn on the soldering iron. Let's see if we can clean up this tip a little bit. Grab a little solder. And see how this goes. Oh, I don't like this. Not at all. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe. It looks like we might have some solder on there. And we didn't melt anything else loose. So, assuming it was at the top, and assuming that resistor is good, that might have just fixed it. Let's see what we get. Back across here. So, we've got... We'll start with... Four. Wait a minute. Zero, one, two, three, four. All right. Five. Beautiful. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Fantastic. That turned out much better than I expected. I was sure that all those little tombstone, call them tombstone when they're stuck up like that, all those little tombstone surface mount resistors would all melt and fall over. But I think we've got it. Let's give it one final test. Uh, really be nice to have like some double banana plug leads, which I don't have any. So just gonna pop those off and lay them down in there. And we will take a look on this as we go. So that 15, try not to bounce these around too much. Expecting about five. Yeah, there's probably an extra ohm just laying in there. So six, yeah, five, and that's just resistance in the leads. Four, three, two, one, zero. There's the ohm and a half that's mostly in the rest of this mess, I think. Two, three, four, and five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We have a new test tool. So I hope you had fun today. Make sure you like it. And uh, if you did, share it with your friends. If you didn't, share it with your enemies. And in any case, I hope to see you next time. And I want you to spend all your money on Coke and strippers.